Hello friends, my name is Miss Wallace. I am a third grade teacher at Haywood. I want to read to you one of my most favorite stories. This book is called Mama Panya's Pancakes, a village tale from Kenya. This book is written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain and is illustrated by Julia Cairns. If you like this book, you can go to Epic and read it again. I hope you like this story as much as I do. Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dousing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we go to market. Surprise, I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now Mama Panya had to hurry. After storing her pots, gathering her bag, and slipping her feet into her sandals, Mama Panya called, I'm ready to Adika, where are you? Here I am, Mama, two steps ahead of you. He sat under the baobab tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Why, yes you are, she accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay! How many pancakes will you make? Mama fingered two coins folded in the cloth tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they saw Mazea Dolo sitting by the river. Habari za asabui, Mama asked softly, so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out, we're having pancakes tonight, please come. Adika, Mama whispered in his ear. Mazea Dolo waved back saying, Asante Sana, I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Maze, Adika said, he's our oldest friend. Hurry up, you're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Look, Mama, it's Sawandi and Nyman. Adika's friends tapped long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll be just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see. Sawandi, Nyman, you and me, Adika counted, and Mazea Dolo. That's only five. I. how many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend, Gamilla, at her plantain stand. Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? But before she could finish, he ran to greet his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear. You will come, won't you? Of course, Gamilla replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Ay, ay, how much do you think I can stretch flour, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Buana Zawena, Mama asked, what can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Zawena who scooped a cup of flour into a piece of brown paper. Adika popped up. Mom is making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful. I think we can give a little bit more for that coin. Buana Zawena put a second cup onto the paper, then tied it up with string. We'll see you later. Mama tucked the package into her bag. Ah, yee yee. You and I will be lucky to share half a pancake. But m Mama, we have a little bit and a little bit more. Come Adika, keep up with me. We have just enough left for a small chili pepper. 
Leave it to me, Mama. I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out, but he ran ahead to Rafiki Kaya's spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear, Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping two steps ahead, sang his reply, All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small twigs and sticks into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper in a pot while Adika saved some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing it there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop into the oiled pan on the fire. Sawandi and Nyman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hody! Adika called Caribou to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Mazea Dolo came soon after. Old Man River has given us three fish today. Gamilla arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. They go very well with pancakes. Bibi and Buana Zawena brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she brought handfuls of salt and cardamom spice along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Mazea Dolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you'll make pancakes again soon, Mama, she replied. I'm sorry, she smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. Here is some more information about village life in Kenya. People. Kenya is made up of many different peoples. Most are black Africans. There are also Asians, Europeans, and others. Many people like Adika and Mama Panya live in rural areas. Village life. Most village people farm and take care of cows, goats, and chickens. Others might work on a tea or coffee plantation. When work is done for the day, villagers might tell stories under the stars and listen to the music of the thumb piano or the imbira. School. Children like Adika go to school, but it is often a long walk to their classroom. Very few Kenyan families own cars and there are not many paved roads. Where the government has not been able to set up schools, many villages have created their own classes. They are called Harambe, which means pulling together. Harambe is also Kenya's national motto. After school. When they are not at school, older children might help with chores such as collecting firewood and taking care of their younger brothers and sisters. They might also play games such as bow, an African board game of strategy, and football or soccer. Running is also popular. Walking to market. On their walk to the market, Adika and Mama Panya see many animals, insects, reptiles, and plants. Here are a few examples. A gama or rainbow lizard. Mmm, juicy. Male rainbow lizards have pretty red heads and blue bodies. They love to bob up and down doing push-ups. Acacia tree. Muwati. Also called the thorn tree. Sharp spikes surround the leaves, which are eaten by giraffes. Baobab tree, mbuyu, a large tree often called the tree of life because it stores so much water. Its branches look like exposed roots, but it's not upside down. Butterfly, kipepeo. There are many kinds of butterflies in Kenya. You might see swallowtails, which are the largest butterflies in the world, with a wingspan the size of two large hands. Goat, Mbuzi. The small East African goat is found all over Kenya. These goats can survive on land that is almost barren, yet still produce lots of milk. Maasai cattle. 
Maasai in Gombe. Many Kenyan tribes measure their wealth in accordance with the number of cattle they own. Maasai cattle are used mostly for their milk. Mongoose. Nguchirao. These weasel-like creatures live in large families and feed on rodents, birds, and even snakes. Although they are cousins of hyenas, they are very friendly and are sometimes kept as pets. Palm tree. Mvimo. There are many species of palms in Kenya. Palm fruit, leaves, and bark are used in lots of products such as soap, roofing materials, and rope. Tilapia. In gay game. Tilapia live in harsh conditions like the hot, salty, and alkaline waters of Lake Nakuru. Speaking Kiswahili. Kenyans speak many languages, but the main ones are Kiswahili and English. Swahili refers to a group of people, also known as the Wa Swahili, who live along the east coast of Africa from Somalia to Mozambique. The word Swahili literally means coast people, and Kiswahili means speaking the language of the coast people. Kiswahili is a mixture of Bantu, a native African language, and Arabic, a Middle Eastern one. In a village like Adika's, people might speak three languages, a local language, Kiswahili, and English. Greetings are expected upon meeting someone. It is considered rude not to greet another in the appropriate way. As a visitor, you may hear the simple greeting, Jambo, which means hello. Kiswahili greetings. Asante sana, thank you. Bibi, a lady, madam, miss. Buwana, sir or mister. Habari za asabui, what's new this morning? Hodi, customary greeting when approaching a friend's house. Karibu, you're welcome. Mama, title of respect for a woman. Mize, title of respect for a man. And Rafiki, friend. Facts about Kenya. You can fit France inside Kenya with a little room to spare. To walk across Kenya from Lake Victoria to the Indian Ocean would take over one million steps. The Great Rift Valley, one of the most spectacular geological features on Earth, runs through Kenya. It is a geological fault that will eventually break East Africa off to form an island. Mount Kenya is the second highest spot in Africa. Even though it's on the equator, it's covered with snow. Lake Victoria on Kenya's western border is the second largest lake in the world. It is part of the White Nile. The largest lake in Kenya is Lake Turkana in the north. Nairobi is Kenya's capital city. Maasai cattle herders who use this land called it Inkari Nairobi, which means cool water country. The main seaport of Mombasa was settled by Arab traders over a thousand years ago. It is an important link between Kenya and the rest of the world. Wildlife parks in Kenya have protected borders where some endangered animal species live. Savo National Park is the largest reserved, and the Maasai Mara is one of the most popular with tourists. Mama Panya's Pancakes Pancakes are eaten all over the world. They have different names in different countries. Here are a few examples. Bannox, Scotland, Chapati, India, Crepes, France, Baobing, China, Blinis, Russia, Dadar, Gutung, Indonesia, Kataif, Egypt, Arepas, Chile, Tortillas, Mexico. Many Kenyans like to wrap food inside thin pancakes. Would you like to try Mama Panya's pancakes? Here's a recipe that you can make at home. Ingredients. Makes about six pancakes. One and one fourth cups plain flour, two cups cold water, one third cup vegetable or sunflower oil, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon cardamom or nutmeg will do instead, half a teaspoon red pepper flakes crushed. Instructions. In a bowl, mix all the ingredients with a fork. Preheat a nonstick pan, no oil is needed, at a medium to low setting. Ladle one fourth cup of batter into the middle of the pan. Tilt the pan to spread the batter to about the size of a grapefruit. 
Cook until you see tiny bubbles in the pancakes, then gently flip it over. When the second side begins to pop up from the heat, the pancake is ready. Serving suggestions. You can fill your pancake with jam for something sweet or tuna salad for something different. In fact, almost any filling will do. Simply roll up and eat. All right, my friends, we have finished this wonderful book, Mama Panya's Pancakes. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Bye.